What's up, everybody? Welcome to the broadcast. My name's Todd, and you are watching Digging Life. Man, oh man, have we hit some, we'll call them trials and tribulations on this, pro, uh, on this driveway build. Number one, soft pockets. I compacted that in, and the issue is the type of soil. Let's see if I can get out of my own shadow, but you can see it's just like Play-Doh. That's so common this time of year. We're kind of coming into spring and we've had freezes and thaws all winter long. We've had a couple of monster stumps to get out that I have to figure out how to deal with. Now on this lower section is a complete disaster. Why? Spring heads. Springs have popped up everywhere in here. And you can see that's on a uphill side so that water's coming up and out of the ground there my hope is that by cutting this drain line open all this is going to start drying out but that takes time i was really hoping to not see any water right here this morning my main hope i don't see like trickling and flowing. I'm hoping this is just puddling from the mud sinking down and forcing the water up. That's my hope. Let me show you guys the flow of this thing. Really the only place that you can see, look at all that. And really in comparison to that, that's not flow, but just think this had no exit before we made this. All of this, was just constantly saturated. This is gonna be an exciting day. For today, from that first big stump that I dug out down, this is just gonna have to sit. It's gonna have to sit for a little bit and finish drying out. I think probably at the end of the day, I might come down here and slick this up just because we've got a lot of rain and potential snow coming. And if I could slick it up, any of that will run into the ditch and get out of here and say soaking in is bad. My hope is that I can keep working this right here and get it to where kneading it and working it, it'll help it dry out. I'll get my finished grade on it down to here. I'll be able to get all this extra dirt, cut it, cut this hillside out, move it in, compact it. And hopefully that'll, that'll be the day. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me just roll back and forth on this. I'm going to raise my screen for just a minute, but I might have to close it back uh, because all the bugs out here and mosquitoes and such. One project I had on here that I didn't really include on the project videos was burning this pile of uh, logging slash, but it's actually, as you can see right here, it's rotted so much that it looks like dirt. That will not burn. So I did go ahead and dig my pit, which is gonna turn into a borrow pit. I've got a filling, got some really beautiful clay there, and I'll be able to dig all that mud out on the lower half of this driveway and replace it with that. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get this section of driveway built. That way I can bring the Mac down here, my triaxle dump truck. And I can pull up here, load dirt back down, dump it out and work it as I need to, make things a lot more efficient. So we'll check back in once I get all this uh, pile of junk cleaned up. Well, that wasn't dirt. This is just an old burn pile. After I got to digging into it, I realized that's what it was. It's no wonder everything on it's Looks like it's grown so well. So I'm just gonna want to smooth all this up. And this whole project will be done. I think that turned out pretty good. Got my Debris covered up, just slicked that up pretty good. I've got me a nice, beautiful clay pile there. Hey, it's time for a coffee break. I believe I've earned one. Let's go grab that and 
we'll come back and do some more. Well, we just got water of all kinds going on. A lot of the problem right now too is you see sunlight ahead, but this area is shaded here. And another problem that we'll address on the way out is that corner where the tractor's sitting. Right where I need sunlight the most right now, I'm not getting it. What I've done is slicked up this whole area down through there to prepare for the coming rain. See all this old rotten wood. Now this spot right here, this wasn't um, sinking like that yesterday, but when I dug that stump out right here, the hole started filling with water. So we've disturbed this ground and caused a little issue. So I've got to dig another drain line here, I think. And hopefully we'll have water flowing out of it in the morning. Yeah, they just wood mixed in with this and just a mess. So let's get this drain line. Well, I've hooked into something here. Yeah, just old roots. cut this drain line and hopefully help this area start draining better. Kind of benching these sides because I've got a feeling it's going to be a minute before I get back down here to this spot tomorrow. The next episode you guys see will be probably one of the most exciting for this project. So if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. mess I'm in. You all cross your fingers for me that I start seeing some water here in a second. pretty firm bottom right there. I don't know. I don't know. Well, this is pretty goopy for uh, that bottom to be as hard as it is. I know this stump hole I'm sitting on top of yesterday had a whole bunch of water collecting in it. Let me get this worked on back and we'll check in witchins. Recap time. I'll just walk with you guys down here to the beginning and show you what's going on, catch you up to speed on what I've done today or not gotten done, and then we'll go over what is in store for tomorrow, which would be next episode for you guys. And I guess just for the benefit of my long-term viewers, eventually we've got to get rid of these logs. And this is the beginning of the road. Got to drop a pipe in here, surround it by railroad ballast. So any water that comes from this area can leach along the pipe. Could drill holes in the pipe, might do it, might not. This area, we've got to wait, watch and see. I don't see any water moving. I'm hopeful that it'll just dry up. This over here, problem. Constant spraying, constant running. As you can see, but look at this. Everything that got sunshine today, beautiful. Beautiful. Everything that was shaded, look how dry still. That's winter time. You either need sunshine or heat, preferably both. You get both in the summertime, that's why we can all work so much more. But look at this, you can almost see the line where the sunlight touched. Look how dry, wet. Almost a perfect line. Sopping wet, but it is better than it was yesterday. I got this all slicked up, prepared for the rain, water flowing. I did not get that satisfying gush. And what's more, this is rock hard, rock hard. I'm hoping maybe I just might have somehow gotten dirt or mud piled up here. But I know for a fact that hole was filling up. We'll see in the morning what's going on. The biggest stump is gone, underground, disappeared forever, out of the roadway. 
This one we'll deal with on a rainy day. I got my bank benched in too. Tractor's running good. One problem, this is just not getting any sunlight. Any sunlight at all. What I did was I drove my tractor, the heaviest thing I've got in the highest ground pressure, back and forth, back and forth. And as it sunk down, I'd pull off, grab the excavator, dig it out, build it to the side. I kept doing that until I got down almost to that bedrock that we had yesterday. This, this soil is just not working with me. It's not drying out. So the plan tomorrow, build the road all the way back to here to where I'm backing my truck down, drop the class B riprap. It's about the, class B is about the size of footballs or larger softballs, about a 12 inch stone, pretty big. And we're gonna put about 18 inches of that in here. It'll hold. I'm gonna put fabric down, riprap, fabric, ballast. This road will be secure for my customer before I leave here. You, you did it. I drove my pickup down here earlier today. I try with everything to get sticks out of my fill. I don't know how I missed one that big, but let me show you what it did. Just look at this. Look at that. I pulled my truck down there just to test like compaction under a regular size vehicle pulled forward nothing started backing up i heard it made me sick i look like andrew camarada driving around here don't tell him i said that actually you can kind of like for him to know who i am all right folks thanks for watching the video i've had a great time making it for you if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell that way you get every single notification click that like button doesn't cost you a thing but i'd really appreciate it now i've got to fuel all this equipment head to the house tomorrow we'll be driving the mac dump truck and we will be getting some fabric and stone in this driveway we love you guys thanks for joining us and we will see you on the next one